Hey everyone, so we are in Magic Kingdom today and we are gonna go have lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern. That's right. So it's a good thing we showed up early because there's a whole new check-in process that's mm -hmm. important to see. So there's a sign right in front of the restaurant for a QR code that you scan with your phone and it allows you to check in with your mobile app. So you don't have to go to a desk, interact with anybody. And right. then we have little stations outside here that help promote social distancing as well. So yeah. I think we're all checked in and yep. we're just waiting for them to call us in. Yeah, we're all checked in. It was a little confusing at first, but we, we figured it out. Yeah. So just be prepared for that. You have to have your phone ready and scan a QR code. Location service is enabled on your phone. Mm -hmm. So that was another thing that we had to figure out. So yeah. here we go. So let's go eat. So as we said, when you check in the restaurant at the front, there's a sign that has a QR code that allows you to check in. They also provide your menu on a piece of paper for a QR code for you to scan. So you're not interacting with any kind of physical menu. It's all gonna be on your mobile device. Again, allows for everything to be nice and sanitized when you're selecting your things. We just sat down, so now we're able to take off our masks and uh, we're excited to start this dining experience. So this is an all you care to enjoy, basically buffet style. They, they bring it to your table. Um, it sounds like we're gonna get almost like a Thanksgiving day menu yeah. of sorts. So very excited about that. Steve was looking at the menu. It looks like they do have some cocktails here. So maybe we'll look into that. So a little bit about this restaurant is that it's a themed restaurant. It's uh, based on our founding fathers. Each room is actually a uh, theme for one of the founding fathers as well. But the food itself is New England fair. We're gonna have like some barbecue. We have some salad that was just delivered. So this is a nice salad with a vinaigrette dressing on top of it. Some traditional dinner rolls and some butter. So um, one of these restaurants are great for people that don't wanna make a decision. Everything is just gonna be thrown at you. So you don't get to make a choice besides if you have dietary requirements, vegetarian, or the regular menu. That's pretty much what you have for food that you uh, you have to choose from here. So excited about this. It's gonna be a very big comfort food meal, but let's dig in. So the ingredients are really fresh, really crisp, cucumbers, radishes. Uh, I threw away the cherry tomatoes on Mike's bowl, so he'll have to review that. But I really like the dressing on this. I think you said it was a, a vinaigrette. I don't know if it was a champagne vinaigrette, but I have a menu here. Let me check that. It is house-made dressing. <laughs> so I know it's a vinaigrette. The flavor is really good. It's really crisp. It's your traditional like, house salad, but you can tell it's not out of a bag. At least I hope it's not out of a bag because it tastes like it's freshly made. I agree with Steve. The salad is very good. It tastes very fresh. It does have a lot of dressing on it though. So I kind of wish maybe we could have had the dressing on the side, but overall it's really good. It's got a good flavor to it. So after a few bites of the salad, I do agree with Mike. It's pretty heavy on the dressing. So again, I, I think you can fix that by ordering on the side. But as this is all you care to enjoy kind of menu, I'm done with the salad because I don't want to fill up on this. I want to get to the good stuff. So I'm going to dig into one of these rolls, see how they taste, and then get ready for the main entree. All right, so already they're not warm. Wish they were a little bit warmer. Um, and the butter is definitely like right out of the fridge, so it's not spreading well, but let's give it a shot. This is your classic dinner roll. There's nothing really phenomenal about it, just being honest, but it's, it's what you expect if you just need a basic roll with some butter at your table. It's not bad, not great. Steve was right, it's a very basic dinner roll, nothing to write home about, but it's a nice offering. Our food just arrived. As we mentioned, this is all you care to eat. So we've got a little bit of a buffet right on our table. And we've got some roasted turkey. It looks like we have some brisket, um, stuffing, green beans, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Like I said, it's basically a Thanksgiving dinner. And as you eat, the more you want, they'll just bring you more. So you just let your server know and you could be here all day if you wanted to. 
So I'm digging into my lunch. Everything tastes really, really good, and I need to make a correction. I said brisket, it's actually pot roast. Um, but it's really, really good, and it's got a lot of good flavor. The turkey is actually very good. It's got a nice flavor. It's not overly dry, and the gravy is actually pretty good. It's very peppery, but it pairs with the turkey very nicely. I think the only thing that is disappointing is the stuffing. I'm a huge fan of stuffing, so the flavors are a little muted here. It's a little bland, so I wish it had a little bit more, but I think, honestly, the pot roast and the potatoes and the green beans make up for it. Yeah, I have to say everything is seasoned perfectly and everything is, you know, generally pretty good. It's not going to win any awards, but it's the perfect classic comfort food meal that that's what you want. This is where you're going to go to get it. So there's pork, there's roasted turkey, and then there's pot roast as far as your meat offerings. In addition to that, we have, again, the green beans, which have like a garlic butter sauce on it, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. What I'll tell you is that this restaurant definitely feels like all the comfort you would have at home. So the macaroni and cheese tastes like Kraft mac and cheese. The stuffing tastes like stovetop. So... If that's the kind of meal that you look forward to, you're gonna like this. One thing I'd like to point out is that the mashed potatoes are actually really good. There's a ton of butter in there, cream, but the thing I like about it is that it's skin on mashed potatoes, so it gives it a little bit more texture as well. So I like that. It's a little bit more rustic and definitely works with the rest of the plate items. All right, we are slowing down. I think we're just gonna have to stop. Um, this Patriots platter definitely hit the spot. It was very good, a lot of good flavors. Like Steve said, it's ultimate comfort food. But we do have to stop because we have dessert on the way. We've got an ooey gooey toffee cake up next. It's a lot of food. All right, so our dessert just arrived. It's the ooey gooey toffee cake. It's a vanilla toffee cake with vanilla ice cream on top, chocolate sauce, and it looks like a little caramel drizzle as well. This looks decadent, so can't wait to dive into it. So overall, I think this is its a really good dessert. It kind of tastes like a warm cookie with vanilla ice cream on top of it. I don't get a whole lot of that toffee flavor. It's just a little bit of the dusting on top. So just generally, this is like a warm cookie um, sundae, which is good. You have a lot of chocolate in there, a lot of that vanilla um, cake on top of it. So it's pretty good. I agree with Steve. It's very much reminiscent of like that classic cookie sundae. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. I don't get too much of the toffee either, but I do have to say this is delicious. I think this is going to be a dessert that most people will like. Um, all that ice cream, a little bit. I think it's whipped cream and then the caramel sauce and all the chocolate drizzle. Very, very good. All right, so that wraps up lunch for us today here at Liberty Tree Tavern. We are totally full. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good meal. It's definitely, you get your money's worth if you're gonna really go mm -hmm. in there and eat all that all that meat that they offer there, so yeah. Wait. Yeah, food is really good. It is $39 per person, which, I, I mean, it is all you care to eat, so if you've got a family and you've got a big appetite, this may definitely be something for you, like, that's the way to go for you. For us, probably not so good. Right. Yeah, but hey, we wanted to make sure we still visit it. It used to be one of the places we like yeah. to go to when you could just order a la carte. Yeah, I feel like it's a very classic, iconic Magic Kingdom restaurant, and we wanted to kind of come back to that and bring this to our channel. Absolutely. So um, I do want to point out that the tables were spaced off very nicely, so mm -hmm. they definitely were six feet apart. It wasn't really overly crowded. It was a loud restaurant, but yeah. I think it's just because the rooms echo a lot. So right. I felt like they definitely did what they were supposed to do during this time. Absolutely. I agree. Well, thank you for joining us for lunch. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.